Today, we're going to look at basic procedures from a high-level overview on the Collins Proline 21 FMS in X-Plane 11. The aircraft is the Challenger 650 by Hot Start. This video will apply to the FMS 3000, 5000, and 6000 series found in other Proline 21 equipped aircraft. Let's get to it. When the aircraft is first powered up, at some point in your checklist, you will need to initialize and set up the FMS. There is a popular Proline 21 acronym that includes four major points to help guide you through this process. V. I. P. P. Let's start by verifying database coverage and effectivity. Press index, then status and verify the most current dates are in the active database line. From the status page, press pause init R6. Verify FMS position. It will take up to a couple of minutes for the GPS system to acquire those first satellites to get that FMS position. Once the initial FMS and GPS position is verified, press set pause to GNSS1, which will autofill the set pause position and verify the coordinates all match. From the pause init page, press FPLN flight plan R6. Enter the origin and destination airports. As a rule of thumb on this FMS, anything with boxes are the minimum required inputs for computation purposes. Anything with dashed lines are optional. Enter a departure, waypoints, and arrival as required. Resolve discontinuities, and then press execute. From the flight plan page, press perf init R6. Verify BOW basic operating weight. This can be changed only from the defaults page. Enter the number of passengers per weight and cargo weight if desired. Next, enter the fuel on board. Move up to the upper right hand corner and enter the cruise altitude. Verify zero fuel weight and gross weight. Once all the desired parameters have been entered and verified, press execute. On the perfinite page one of three, press takeoff R5 to configure V speeds. Verify and set information as required. In this case, we need just the temperature. Press next to go to page 2 of 4, and then press send R6. Verify appropriate V-speeds are now on the PFD. So that's a quick run through of the minimum required inputs to align and set up the Collins FMS. Here are a couple of shortcuts on the tune page. When inputting a new communication frequency, such as 119.20, you can enter it as 192. Drop the first number and decimal. The same goes for the nav frequencies. This will save you a few keystrokes on your end. When manually tuning a VOR and you forget the frequency but know the three letter identifier, you can enter the identifier into the FMS. Assuming you are in range of the VOR, it will automatically tune the frequency. One thing to note when doing this, the nav receiver reverts to manual tuning. To put it back in auto tuning, simply press the line select key next to the appropriate frequency. This will take you to the nav control page. In the upper right hand corner, press the line select key to switch to auto. Well, I hope this video helps the new Challenger 650 pilots in X-Plane. Stay tuned for more FMS videos. Cheers.